In this quick tutorial, we will see how to perfectly wrap a full wrap design onto the mug and create a mock-up template. So first, you need to identify what size your mug template is or the mug image that you have is. Is it 11 OZ or 15 OZ? Uh, once you know, I have an 11 OZ white mug. I need to check out the dimension. So whatever uh, print provider you use, uh, you could get the dimension. In print area, we have 8.6 inches and the height is 3.7 inches. I'll go to Photoshop and I'll create a custom. From pixels, we'll select inches. Uh, width uh, we have relate to the height of the imprint area. Height will have 3.7 inches and width will have 8.6 inches. Okay. And we could have 300 as in resolution. Click on create. So this is the actual size of the imprint that we are about to place it on the mug. Okay. Next, grab your design file, any of them that you have and place it over here so that we have a, a, some visual guide while wrapping. So I'll just drag and place this design over here and I'll try to fit in the exact dimension. Looks good. I'll merge them, unlock this. And now I'll duplicate this. Uh, so I'll duplicate this on the mug image that we have. Uh, once duplicated, I'll press Ctrl T, uh, bring it at the center. Uh, now we need to create a smart object layer, uh, which is half of this dimension. If you look at this mug, we see two faces, the front face and the back face, which we are not visible. So I could, uh, you know, conclude that only 50% of the wrap is visible. So we need to create a template or we need to create a smart object. Uh, which represent half of this uh, size because this over here has the correct aspect ratio and dimension of the full wrap that is going to be printed on the mug. So to do that, I'll press Ctrl T and you could see uh, there are guides over here uh, which denotes the center. I'll grab the guide from the left and place it at the center. Uh, notice uh, if you do not see this ruler, you could press Ctrl R or Command R to bring out the ruler. Then I'll have another guide from here and then another guide from here. We are just taking the half of the dimension. That's all. Uh, now I can delete this uh, smart object, I mean this layer. We are not, not required now. Now go and grab your rectangle tool. Create a rectangle of this size. Perfect. Uh, go to the properties. I uh, will change the fill color from maybe I'll select green and the stroke will have as none. So this is done. Now right click and click on convert to smart object. Perfect. Now we are supposed to fit this uh, rectangle into this mug. So reduce the opacity so that you see what is underneath and then We'll press Ctrl T. I will go to the wrap menu and we have a new preset. I will select cylinder. Okay. Uh, now using the wrap, I mean using the anchor, we have uh, four anchors. One, two, three, four and five anchors. Uh, using the anchors, we'll place it perfectly on the mug. So. I think this looks nice. Uh, once done, hit on this check mark. Uh, you can increase the opacity. Uh, then I'll go and change the blending board to multiply. I will delete this design that we have. I'll create a curves adjustment layer. Go to adjustment layer, click on curves, and then click on on top. And right click and click on create dipping mask. Maybe I'll try one out towards more. Done. Okay. Now to place the design, when we have this design, I'll just delete this. I mean, close this, not required. Uh, we have this smart object layer. We we'll double click on the smart object icon. This will open the tab. Uh, now, what we are going to do is place our design. So I'll use the same design that we, you know, made up half copy of the pull design and place it over here. This denotes only half of the wrap, right? So I'll just double click. Yeah, 
just place it like this and if you want you can you know position at the center so that it looks visually nice but again uh, it only denotes 50 percent of the ram that we have right uh, once you save this uh, you could see this is the perfect wrap that we have it's time for the bonus let me show you how you can automatically generate thousands of mockup within a minute so i have collected five templates in this folder that i created in the same process which we have just seen in the second folder i have 10 design files so in total we will be generating 50 plus mockups within a minute we have the third folder which is empty. Here our mug mockups will be exported. Simply open the bulk mockup plugin in Photoshop. The first option is the PSD one. The second option that is for the design file folder. Here we will select our designs folder. Simply here I will select the export folder which is empty. Now I will click on start generating. You can check how fast it's exporting the mockups. Isn't it incredible? We have 50 plus mockup in no time. If you are running a Etsy store, this can be a game changer for you. To learn more about it, check bulkmockup.com.